Letty number 8570. Installed new 12-inch main in Carondelet Boulevard from Cortez Street to Morgan Ford Road. We have three bids. TGB Inc. TGB Inc. $912,700. J.H. Bira Construction Company Inc. J. Period H. Period B. E. R. R. A. Construction Company Inc. One million, one hundred ninety-eight thousand eight hundred dollars. One, one nine eight eight zero zero point zero zero. Bates Utility Company Inc. B A T E S Utility Company Inc. One million seventy-five thousand five hundred dollars. One zero seven five five zero zero point zero zero. Letting number eight five seven three. We have three bids. Public improvements to Sulord Market. Seals Enterprises Inc. S E A L S Enterprises Inc. Seventy-eight thousand eight hundred fifty-five dollars. Seven eight eight five five point zero zero. Rainier Construction R. A I N E R I construction eighty nine thousand three hundred ninety two dollars and seventy three cent eight nine three nine two point seven three Cosney Wagner Inc. K O Z E N Y Wagner Inc. $117,500. With the low bidder, please meet with Miss Ben. Thank you. Director Scobie. Here. Director Rundy. Here. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth is excused. Director Moore. Here. Director Gray. Here. And President Bradley. Here. We will form a call in order. Letting number 8575, 2015 Concrete Roadway Spot Slab Repairs at Lambert St. Louis International Airport for plans and specifications. Recommendation that the board accept as a gift a donation of a 2012 Dodge Ram truck from Brightside to be used in forestry. From the Director of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following permits be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. AT&T to board a cable from existing AT&T manhole on Pine Street between North 7th Street and North 8th Street going into a pipe feeding 710 Olive. AT&T Missouri to board copper under the alley on side of 5320 Brandon and head east between poles to avoid clearance issues over alley. All work performed to provide service to 5320 Brandon. Southwestern Bell Telephone Company doing business as AT&T Missouri to start by placing a new 3 feet by 5 feet by 3.5 feet 
street rated handhold over existing 4 inch PVC pipe located on ferry side of 4124 North 1st Street the entrenched south to an existing power pole where a new handhold and a 2 inch poly pipe will be placed with a fiber optic cable charter communications to a style underground co coax cable in a custom to a customer at 2626 mm -hmm. Alfred then cut two feet deep by two feet by two feet wide pothole at the base of, of pole number 72517 in the rear of 4503 Magnolia where, where they will start out with a two inch bore for the west side of Alfred crossing under Alfred. David Akeem to encroach six inches into the right of way with concrete stairs with a footing of two feet six inches under the sidewalk for 4548 Martin Luther King Drive. From the director of streets and ordinance to conditionally vacate the su south southernmost 168.50 plus minus 1.0 foot of the 15 foot wide north south alley in city block 5090 is bounded by Lillian Geraldine, Bircher, and Union. An ordinance to conditionally vacate the westernmost 150 feet of the 15 foot wide east west alley in City Block 3765 North is bounded by Fountain, Albert, Enright, and Kings Highway. An ordinance to conditionally vacate 15 foot wide north south alley in City Block 109 is bounded by Poplar 4th and Broadway. An ordinance to conditionally vacate irregular excess portion of 18th Street abutting the northwest corner of City Block 482 WA and adjacent to 1022, 1024, and 1100 South 18th Street. An affidavit for petition number 6817 for Bosch and Skinner, Inc relating to the compliance of section 10 of ordinance 69947 dated February 17, 2015 which provides for the conditional vacation of public air <coughs> surface and subsurface rights for vehicle equ equestrian and pedestrian travel in 15 foot wide east west alley and city block 1814 is bounded by Choteau, Jefferson, LaSalle and Ohio. Recommendation that the following permits be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. Chaparro, Chaparro's Mexican restaurant to encroach with sidewalk cafe, three tables and six chairs with liquor at 2812 Cherokee and downtown St. Louis Community Improvement District to encroach on light standards with cigarette butt receptacles within the CID bounded by 18th Delmore 14th Street to Cole. Memorial Drive to I-64, 14th Street to Chestnut, and 18th to 18th Street. From the Director of Public Safety, recommendation that permit be, <coughs> be approved for a Central West End bed and breakfast to operate a bed and breakfast guest house with seven rooms at 4045 <coughs> Washington. Recommendation that permit be revoked for Lotto Anna and Jasper Anna and Jasper Lato to occupy a rooming house at 2005 South 12th Street. No entry. The building was vacant. Recommendation that the board approves as festival zone the following. National Dance Week, April 25th, 2015 at Washington between Grand and Teresa, St. Ambrose La Festa, May 3rd, 2015 at St. Ambrose Church grounds. Cherokee Antique Road History Fair with May 16, 2015 at West Wisconsin Street off of Cherokee Halfway House Memorial Day May 24, 2015 at 7, 7900 Michigan at Prim. Indy Hop May 30, 2015 at Grove and Cherokee Street Neighborhood. Thur Thurman Loop Fest June 5th through 6, 2015 at Shenandoah from 4067 to 4103 and Thurman from Alley North of Shenandoah to Alley South of Shenandoah. Uncork Wine and Jazz Festival June 5th, 6th and 7th, 2015 at 
Kaufman and Polka Park Street Surrounding Soldiers Memorial. CW Restaurant, June 6, 2015, at Farrar between Nat Natural Bridge and Palm on June 6, 2015. Save it on June 20, 2015, at Maffet. From Vandervenda to Sarah, Bishop Scott from St. Louis Avenue to Kennelly. Smoke and Fire sh Showdown, September 25th, 26th, and 27th, 2015 at Soldiers Memorial Streets and Parks, Kaufman and Poker Parks, and Chestnut and 13th. St. Jude Give Thanks, September 26th, 2015 at Bile Park Village and surrounded downtown streets. Now we have the conditional uses. Good afternoon, Mr. President and members of the board. I'm Michael Vicentaner, Zoning Plan Examiner for the city. I'm going to be representing the building commissioner in today's meeting. Her board order number 766 transmitted herewith are the recommendation for the following conditional use agenda applications. Approval of conditions is recommended for six applications. 3421 Oregon, 5817 Dressel, 5858 Highland, 622 Bell Reeve, 85, 27 through 29 South Broadway, and 90, 10, Holsberg. Could you do 58, 58 Highland? Yes. Okay. Are there any questions from the board on the conditional uses? <clears throat> Before we um, make a motion, um, just want to explain that we're working with a law department in the building division right now to um, find core days and hours of operation for conditional uses. What, what's been done in the past is a uh, conditional use applicant puts a day or times that they would like to operate and so they're all over the board. Um, rather than do that, <coughs> the city council's office feels it's more appropriate that we find core days and core hours and they can operate anytime within those particular core days or hours for a particular kind of business. So we got a little bit of confusion today on these with the hours and times and so I'll ask uh, if there's no further questions if Director Gray make the motion please. Make the motion that we <coughs> approve the conditional use with the removal of the core hour, uh, removal of the hours that are currently listed on um, on them as well as the core days. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Can you call the roll please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth is excused. Director Moore. Aye. Director Gray. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. Approved. I'd like to turn your attention to the minutes from the March 31st, 2015 uh, Board of Public Service meeting. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes that was attributed? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion for approval, please. So moved. Second. second. So moved and seconded. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth is excused. Director Moore. Aye. Director Gray. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. <coughs> Director approved. Motion to accept the addendum, please. So moved. Second. motion seconded. Can you read the roll please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth is excused. Director Moore. Aye. Director Gray. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. The addendum is approved. Aye. Okay. I'm take a motion to accept the agenda please. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Okay. Is there any objection to use of previous roll? Seeing none, the agenda is approved. Motion to adjourn, please. So so moved. Before we do that, I want to welcome Director Moore to the Board of Public Service. Uh, as the new, newest director, we have a compliment of uh, a few of you guys. So welcome to the board, and um, Sharice will be glad to answer any questions or explain anything you need to. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Okay, so we have a motion to adjourn. I need a second. Second. Oh, I did I? Second. 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 Second